Hi there, this is Chris, and I'm going to show you how to use the ls command uh, when you're logged into the uh, Linux Myth computers. And uh, to do that, uh, it's pretty simple. <laughs> um, you actually, once you're logged in, there's a command called ls, uh, just ls, and it will list all the files in your folder. I happen to have a whole bunch of files in my uh, home folder here. Uh, but if we, let's say we're going to go into my uh, 107 folder with the cd command, which is covered in a different video. Um, I can type ls and uh, get all the files in there, and uh, that's the basic way of using the, the command, but the ls command has lots of different flags that go along with it, so you can type ls-l, and it will list all your files, uh, all the non-hidden files, as it turns out, in a, uh, an interesting format here, that uh, tells you more information about the files. It tells you, in fact, how big the file is, and it tells you whether the file is a directory or not. The little D at the beginning here means that it's a directory. So the assign zero folder and the old and the pandoc folder here are uh, all uh, directories. So if I type CD to change directory into the pandoc folder, it will uh, go into there, and then that's, that's an actual folder that I can do ls on and see all the files in that folder as well. Uh, some of the other uh, flags that you can use, I like the ls-1, which lists them all out kind of one after the other, and then I can just scroll back and back and up and down here and see them like that. Sometimes that's nice. Uh, as I said, the ls-l uh, works great. ls-al means even show me the hidden files as well. Um, so in this case, there's a couple of files that are uh, hidden. Files that begin with a period are all hidden on your... Uh, in your folder system. So anything that's actually starts with a period is hidden, uh, including the two uh, interesting uh, directories called dot, which means the current directory that you're in, and dot dot, which means your previous directory. And that's also covered in a different video on the CD command and working directories and so forth. Um, if you want to know more information about ls and all the different flags, you can type man ls for the manual page and it gives you the uh, manual page here, and it says all the different types of flags, and there's a ton of flags for, um, for the ls command. And uh, by the way, I'm just using the uh, arrow keys to, uh, to go uh, down in this file and uh, see all the different commands. You can also type q to quit out of the manual page. Uh, my favorite ls command is ls-alrt, which means list all the files, including the hidden ones, list them in that special format that gives me more information, list them in reverse order, and list them by time. So what this actually does is it lists the files in the reverse order from when they were created. Uh, this directory is not the best one to do it. Let's go into the previous directory. ls-alrt says, okay, I created the old folder, the most, uh, most past, and the newest folder happens to be the pandoc folder here. Uh, which is uh, like that. So I like the ls-alrt to give you just a listing of like, hey, which files did I modify most recently? Those are the ones at the bottom of the folder. So that's it for the ls command. You will use this every single time you log on to the Myth computers, and you should get used to it. Thanks.